I think it's all about centering your intentions, kind of where you are now, your goals to where you want to be. And this is just a great place to find your inner peace. We are here today at Yosemite National Park in the great state of California with one of my friends, John Runyon Jr., who plays for the Packers. Coming here, I had really no idea what to expect, like really none at all. And looking around, kind of just the beauty of it, it's breathtaking, it's so green. You know, as an athlete, we live two pretty opposite lifestyles, one being in the season where it's very regimented. So anytime we get downtime, just to clear the head, get some clean air, kind of recenters you, so to speak. You see that right there? Yeah, that's where we're gonna go today. I guess the anxiety kind of started when I got into this trying to be a professional football player. You go to games where there's 90,000 people and it doesn't take very long to make a mistake. It's a very high demanding position and you have to be a high performance individual or otherwise uh, you're not making a living anymore. I had uh, an injury that I thought was gonna be career ending. I had totally reconstruct my left ankle and uh, yeah, you're coming back to a position where, where you have to be the same player. I was tapering off a of medication and so I was feeling physical elements of that, shaking tremors, get really lightheaded. And that, on top of my injury, I was just in no place, you know, hard to function, much less play football at a high level. With all those things going against you, it become very tough. And so for me, I was at a point where I was ready to uh, get out of the game. I felt like, uh, you know, kind of had to face myself and, and confront it. I call it a second wind, kind of. One more and two to the fray, the last good fight I'll ever know. It's live and die on this day, live and die on this day. You know, physically we prepared our bodies for a long time and I felt like the mental aspect was kind of lacking. Now it's become more vocal. Guys talking about getting in a good mental headspace and how important it is because it really affects every aspect of your life. Practicing mindfulness, I think communicating more definitely helped. I feel like a lot of times I would bottle stuff in and didn't communicate effectively, which kind of made the thing bigger than what it needed to be. So those two things hand in hand helped a lot. We work in pretty like high stress scenarios and times like this when you're kind of disconnected from the rest of the world, you kind of really get to slow down and you know, really relax and understand you know what's really important to you, what to put your energy and you know stuff that really gives back to you. You don't really see scenery like this every day. And I think the journey up here really uh, <laughs> kind of it's, it's you versus yourself. Facing the beast can really help you overcome the dilemma that you're facing. And if you choose to avoid it, I can promise you that uh, it doesn't get better with time. People are scared to get judged. And even me, I really didn't want to talk about it, but my stuff was so public, I kind of had no choice but kind of to address it. You know, I think it's just a conversation you have to have with yourself and know that there is people that are there ready to help you. And a lot of people are feeling the exact same thing you are.